Hello, hello. I'm going to start this on my camera, but it is flashing at me battery wise, so I might have to finish some of it on my phone. But I am about to go and do a hyperbaric oxygen chamber, which is. Uh, <laughs> so basically, Kendall Jenner has one in her house, and this is one of the first places I saw it, but it's also used a lot by. Um, professional athletes and that kind of stuff to assist with injury um it can help with like cancer recovery everything they're just incredible there's so many videos that i watched about them i'll leave a couple linked below and that gives like all the proper scientific technical information but yeah i'm doing it for just general health reasons but also i would love to help rehab my knee if you don't follow me on instagram you might not know but i fell on my kneecap during figure skating because i like to pick dangerous sports and i have completely ruined it i don't know what i've done had an x-ray nothing's broken waiting for an mri because it's still not getting better um, but I've potentially either torn the ligament or like a partial tear or a full tear and I'm not really sure which one But it did get me thinking a lot about things that I can do to get my body at ultimate capacity like maximum capacity So this is your inhale, it's inhale on demand. Yeah, and this will be your exhale. Yeah, this is the mask we're going to use on you today Okay, we will be giving you 97 to 95 to 97 percent oxygen through yeah. this Once we get you compressed down to the level your 2 ATA you should be receiving approximately 95% oxygen into the system. What I see on that screen there, you see on this screen there. Okay. If at any time you want it out of the chamber, and you, I don't want it, I don't want it, that's the emergency button. You lift up, press it, it starts to decompress by itself. Okay, and then you, you just wait. Yes. You are in total control of this. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> if you have a problem hearing your ears, you just pause them. Okay. Uh, I will stop at whatever level we're at and wait for you to clear your ear. You can't clear your ears then. What I will do is leave you at that level, let you rest a while, and then come back and see if I can take you deeper. Yeah, okay. That makes okay. sense. You're in total control. Hand signals. Pause me. Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. I hate you. Get me out. <laughs> <laughs> you, when you, okay, when you can sit there, yeah. and we put you in there, we'll connect you up and take a photograph sitting with a okay. nice Okay. So I'll leave it there and then we can... Take a cat. Sit there for a moment. So this goes to the back of your head. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's easier for you to do that. You can put the back of your head over. Okay, and this goes up here. Mm -hmm. And then this goes around here. Oops, uh, really, really small head. <laughs> <laughs> Never been told that before. How's that feel? Yeah, that's fine. When I tell you to inhale and then exhale, I need to make sure there's not a lot of air coming out around the mask. So inhale, exhale. Is there much air coming out around the mask? No, only like a tiny bit there. Absolutely perfect. In you go. There's no easy way out of the way in. Step in, step into it. Feet down here, head up here. I was just going to shuffle from here. Oh no. No, just stand up, stand up and walk straight in. Okay. Perfect. Down. Remember when I get you compressed, I'll tell you to put the iPad on, okay? Yeah, so I just leave it there. Leave it there, it's perfect. Yeah. So, what we do here, you have inhale on demand, okay? Now, remember when I said exhale, it's like exhale through one of those horrible long balloons, so do it gently. Okay. Is the exhale difficult? Okay. If you're comfortable, you can leave it in. If not, you just take it out. Like that. And then just show me that you can put it in again. Preferable if you didn't. Best practice would be to have no clue or the clue is too uncomfortable for most people. So show me that you can actually connect that, please. Perfect. You can take that again now. So. What happens is that when I close the door, I lock the door, or if I get you to about one and a half meters, I then unlock the door, the door is held closed just by the pressure. Okay? That's a safety feature in case 
your session ends and I'm not here, you can just push the door back open. But I will be here. Okay, you're halfway. Ten meters, you can relax. As well as you can watch the iPad or sleep. Remember, I have the camera on you and I can hear all your breathing. Okay? Good morning. <laughs> it's roughly four or five days since my treatment. Let me see if I can find out when it was actually. So I had my treatment on Tuesday the 15th and it's now Monday the 21st. So it's just over a week since my first treatment. They always recommend a course. Um, I was only in there for 60 minutes. Oh my God, my hair looks terrible. Um, I was only in there for 60 minutes and you can do a 90 minute session. Um, let's just talk about like the whole experience. So I was really nervous and I basically sat still like the entire time. Um, I didn't move, nothing like that, but you can, you can kind of move around inside there. Obviously they give you an iPad so you can use that. You can turn the air blowers on and off if you get too hot. There's like, it's actually kind of cozy. When I think back, it's actually quite cozy. Um, and it means I get like 60 minutes to just sit and do nothing where like no one can talk to me, <laughs> which is quite nice when you work in social media. But yeah, so before, this is mainly for my knee injury and before the treatment, I couldn't kneel down. I couldn't bend my knee properly, I couldn't, you know when you like bend your knee and rest your leg, like if you're sat in bed or you're sat somewhere and you like bend your knee like that and that's your foot, like I couldn't do that because I didn't have enough strength in my knee to like hold it there, I couldn't crouch down, um, stairs were still a bit of an issue, so at first when I got out of the chamber you kind of feel like a bit dizzy and things like that, um, but my knee felt like tight and as if it was not like swollen but it just felt tight I don't know how to explain it and they said that's because it's basically opened up all the blood vessels and that's all passing through more oxygen and things like that and helping it to heal so they said that's actually a good thing um, then fast forward what six days to now and I didn't really notice because it's like normal movement, but it hasn't been normal for so long. Like I can actually bend my leg. Like how I'm sat right now with my leg like this, I couldn't do that five days ago, which is crazy. And I can base. let's see if I can show you. I can basically crouch down, but I can get down to like here. And I genuinely, like I have a video of me trying to do squats in the gym the other day, and I genuinely couldn't do that. So, madness <laughs> so I am seriously seriously impressed like I didn't have any improvement in my knee at all for maybe like four or five weeks and now in five days it's got an enormous amount better which is crazy um, I didn't change anything else I wasn't doing any other specific exercises I don't think I went to the gym even after that or swam or anything so it's not like I've been doing 
other stuff to help it in a way which is crazy I'm just I'm honestly baffled like I've been fighting this injury for two months now and there's been no improvement and then all of a sudden this so I'm booked in for five sessions this week um, and I know that sounds extreme but I am going away on Saturday and today is Monday so I need to get them in like quickly before I go so I'm going every day this week and honestly by the end of it I feel like I'm gonna be like running around <laughs> other benefits I found just in general is more energy like I'm still tired but once I get up I have more energy so like I'm not really napping in the daytimes and things like that whereas I normally would be so just general energy is better um, I'm just so impressed I'm so impressed so the prices are dependent on like how many treatments you need and if you uh, book it in a block and things like that so there is um, like different prices and I did get a few questions of people asking me after I put it on my Instagram does it help with this and does it help with that and things like that the best people to ask is them and they will tell you they say it's not a cure obviously but they will tell you like whether it's going to help and whether they think it's something that it will help with because to be honest it probably helps with most things but yeah in general they don't say obviously it's a cure-all because it's potentially not it depends on your body and it depends on what it is and everything like that but god I just can't believe how much this has helped my knee injury I've looked at so many rehab exercises I've taken medication I've done so many things to try and help this and this is the one thing that's helped so yeah I'm excited I think what I'm gonna do is a bit of a video diary so I'm going today but I'll stop this video and I'll start a new one and I'll do like a video diary over the five days of like movement and what I can and can't do and that kind of things um, yeah and we'll just see how much of a difference it makes and I will keep you updated but honestly I'm so impressed <laughs> so impressed um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope this was insightful. When I looked at videos to go and get this done, I couldn't find any videos of like a vlog style video or anyone's experience of going and having it done. It was all like informational videos or doctors sitting and talking about it. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what it looked like. I didn't know how it felt, anything like that. Just feels like you're on an airplane and you have to keep popping your ears but that's basically it. You get used to the breathing after a while and it's kind of therapeutic because it's like yoga, meditation, breathing because you have to breathe like, not slowly, but longer than you normally would just out and about. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them in the comment box below and I will get back to all of them. I'm promising that because this is something that I'm really, really passionate about um, and just improving health in general. So please do leave questions if you have them. And yeah, I really hope you found this informational and helpful and I will video diary the rest of it and I will see you again soon. Bye.